Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode of SnowRunner. We are here in Pedro Bay at evening 11 o'clock and the task here that we want to do is the final task in Pedro Bay which is called Old Mac and Drowned Car. So I think for this one we're just going to use our Zeke which is at 44%. Uh, let me just switch to morning so we can see better and also let me just activate this task so so far so good it is over there i think we should be able to get this one with the z it is also the last task of this section of the map so then we've completed three things in the last task we've completed the white valley we've completed mountain river and we've completed Pedro Bay after this one. And the only thing remaining is, I think it's called North Road, I think. Yeah. So there's the truck that we need. And I'm just gonna reverse into it. Not actually into it. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. So you need to go even further. Haha. <laughs> so you can do it. There it is. And then hook it up. Dangerous water levels, no problem. We are just going. Yes, we are. If we can. Switch to low gear. Switch to oh, okay, okay. All of this while I hadn't switched on the all-wheel drive. Okay. So now we are out. It's time to plan the route. We go here. We go here. We go all the way here, out this way, and this way. Okay. Seems simple. I just pull it towards us. I reckon. You guys reckon it'd be easier to pull it from the front. I reckon it would be easier to pull it from the front. So let's just do that extra bit. And get it lined up. There it is. Yep, connect it to the front and then pull it. Hmm, simple easy. Making a fair bit of progress. Do we have to go here? Yes. Dude, control your brakes. Oh, I forgot I'm already driving it. And how is it steering? Never mind. It is out of fuel as well, and this is the last task in Federal Bay. I'm excited to finish this. To finish the, this section of the map. Finally. Okay, deep mud encounter. Oh, come on. Struggling. Okay, bear in mind that I, will, I only have 67 liters of fuel left, which means, hmm, which means I can either make it or I can fail. Yep, those are the, those are the two options anyway. But yeah, let's try to succeed with the limited amount of fuel we have. At least we have daylight. It's going up the hill. Up, up, up. This thing is lighter than the curtain side trail, for sure. 
And as Zeke is having no problem pulling this thing up, which means it's definitely lighter. The only problem is, will I flip my truck? Or will I be able to make it in one piece? I am burning fuel like crazy. And then I do want to get up onto this rock. Like that. Yep. And then go up. Come on. Without getting stuck. Oh, I forgot. I can't reach. Okay. Put it in a low gear. It's just one tiny thing in there. Come on. Yeah, I think we're good. Put it in auto again. And then there we go. Yay! Good progress, good progress. Go on, go on, go on. There it is, there's our marker, which means then from there we have to take a right onto that snow sorry, onto that icy lake and then get out and then take a left again and go to the service station that is cool, a bit. 43 liters of fuel remaining will it be enough? I think it will be don't bother starting engine now, do I take a risk and give it like a little bit of fuel so then the hammer can start and then towing it would be easier or do I take what I have left and just keep pulling, keep pulling it I think we're almost here we're almost here so yeah no need no need Where do we have to go? We have to go there. Come on, Hummer. This is the final stretch. The final stretch. Last one for the Hummer and last one for the for Pedro Bay. Yep. Ooh. No, no, no. Don't try to stop the engine. It's okay. Here we are. Finally. Look at this hammer disappearing in 3, 2, 1. Oh yeah! 190 star, 1650 bucks. That is great. And that is how you do old Mac and ground car. You just have to pull it out of the water where it is and then just drag it all the way here. The simplest route is the one I took because the car is over here and just go right this and here and then through this bit. Although, you can take the car out and then go up and then here and then through this bit and then all this way and then go all here and here but it totally depends on what route you want to take the task is quite simple it shouldn't be a problem if you have the right truck anyway guys that's it for this video thank you for watching I hope you like the content I'm creating please consider subscribing if you haven't already I make new videos as often as I can Please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel and yep, as always, I will see you in the next one.